Grab your pencil and your paper. And turn on your okay, cut the music. We've got lots of drawing to do, so let's save the theme song till the end of the video. Hey, drawing fans, Steve Harpster here. I am an author, illustrator, cartoonist, and a YouTuber. I love drawing. I wish I had to draw this character. Now, this is a character I created like when I was in third grade. Its name is Nutty the Squirrel, and uh, it's real fun to draw. And he's a real, real simple character to draw. Uh, I just start with a number three, and I'll, I'll show you how to draw this a lot slower later on. I just want to explain to you uh, my thoughts on Nutty, and Nutty is just this crazy squirrel, loves eating acorns, also tends to steal food from nearby bird feeders. But there's one thing he does fear, and that is cat. It's especially this one cat in the neighborhood, and that cat's name is Mittens. Now Mittens is the neighborhood bully. This cat thinks it owns the entire neighborhood and really does not like Nutty the Squirrel. Nutty is a bit crazy. In fact, Nutty uh, sometimes wears a mustache to hide its identity and a giant stovepipe hat and uh, a clown wig. But unfortunately, Mittens can see through this really corny disguise and goes chasing after Nutty. So one day Nutty was going and getting its favorite food, acorns, from its favorite acorn tree, but there was a trap. Mittens had set a terrible trap. What's going to happen to our poor friend Nutty? Will Mittens have squirrel for dinner, breakfast, or lunch? And how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? But first, let's learn how to draw Nutty the Squirrel. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to draw Nutty. That way you can come up with your own squirrel adventures. Uh, but it all starts with a number three, just like that. Hey, remember, I don't draw perfect. I draw for fun. It's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to mess up. I make mistakes all the time. So, uh, don't worry about that. And we're gonna draw the squirrel's eyes right here on this part of our number three. And we're gonna make them go in two different directions, of course. This becomes the character's nose. We're just gonna draw a little curve line here. And you can color that nose in, or you can just do a little a couple of lines like that to show that uh, there's a little bit of shading there. And then we're gonna draw Nutty's ears. Curve lines like this. Let's draw the mouth. We're gonna extend this part of the three up a bit here and around like that. And remember, if I ever go too fast, you can always pause the video. That's what's great about video, you can always pause it. Now, let's add Nutty's teeth. Now, I like to draw crazy squirrel teeth like this. Notice they're two different shapes. And now we're gonna draw the body. We're gonna start the eye. We're gonna go around to the mouth. Just like that, make that sound effect, it might help. And let's add the arm, whoop, whoop. And at the end of the arm, cartoon fingers, rip, 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 rip. Let's add those legs and feet. We're gonna draw two letter L's, just like that, with a curved line for the top of each foot. And we'll finish those legs by drawing a line here and here, and we can even add some little toes to our character. Now for the tail. The tail is the best part because all you're going to do is you're going to draw a swirl from the back of the squirrel. And then you're going to draw another line from the bottom of the swirl to the bottom of the squirrel. Ooh, boop. And there you go. You just created Nutty the Squirrel. Well, artists, I hope you had a blast drawing this squirrel character. Hey, did you know when you create characters, you create story? 
and I have a members only site called Harptuniacs where every drawing tells a story. I'd love for you to check out. There are some free lessons below this video and you can just click on the link and uh, not only do you draw the character, but you spin these picker wheels and that way you can change, alter, and come up with new ideas for your character because at Harptuniacs, every drawing tells a story and I'll see you next time with another drawing lesson. Grab your pencil and your paper and turn on your